assumption that this was going to be an interview. So last night I was so nervous. And then this morning I just couldn't eat breakfast. I was so good at leaders. And then like I get here and all of my mentors are obviously here. And I don't know, I just, I think I'm still just a little bit in shock. I, it's hard to process. It's a dream come true. Um, I never imagined that this would happen today. It wasn't something that I could have ever dreamed about being one of three students to win this in the state. It's a, it's a really big deal and I'm so happy that I'm honored to have this opportunity and I can't wait to see how my future is going to hold out with this because it takes an immense pressure off of my family and I and I just I'm so happy. Well the scholarship is administered through the Oklahoma City Community Foundation so we partner with them to um, to um, send out the information to students and counselors and superintendents and students apply and they have to be an og &E customer they have to want to go to school here in oklahoma because we want these students to stay here and um, and just show exemplary leadership and, and leadership skills. All these students are bright. We had well over 300 applicants this year, and this is the second year in our scholarship. There are three students that will be awarded a scholarship, and that's every year for the next five years. So this scholarship is funded through the OGE Energy Corp Foundation, where we choose three students uh, the scholarship is an offer of up to $60,000 for a four years and their requirements, they need to stay in school and stay in college here in the state of Oklahoma and um, continue to keep their grades up. So I have two older siblings, an older brother and an older sister, and both of them have gone to college. And so I've seen the financial strain that it can be. So all of my senior year, I dedicated to, to applying to as many scholarships as I have been able to and um, to just know that this was basically going to take care of the rest of the financial aid that I ha could have had to apply to. It's like I don't have words for it. <laughs> like there's no words to express how happy I am in the opportunity that I have here. I actually want to study chemical engineering as you know and I want to study renewable energy sources. That's one of what something I want to pursue in the future and this encourages me more because it shows that people believe in me and what I want to do in the future and that's so important to me. Intelligent, she is a hard worker, she cares about other people and I think because she cares so much about other people it created, um, it made this environment a place where she could excel and exceed. Um, and she started a tutoring program for students who um, speak Spanish as a first language and to help those students to be successful in the classroom. And I think in turn it helped her even to be more successful because she wasn't spending a lot of time focused on her and her needs and what she needed. She, every time I talked to her, it was what can I do, what can I do to make this environment a better place? And she spent a lot of time doing that. My mom is a teacher here, and she started teaching here, I think, in 2007. And whenever she first got here, there was only 25 Hispanic students, and there were no resources to help them. And so I was always here with her because she obviously was a teacher, and I would just tag along as, you know, her daughter. Like, sometimes you tag along, especially since schools were very welcoming back then. And so I would see how there they needed help, but there wasn't any place to get it. And so when I finally got here, nothing much had changed. There hadn't, like, there was more stu Hispanic students, obviously, but there weren't the resources available for them and so I made it my mission in my four years here to make a community for them that they could go and ask for help.